<laughs> this is, I guess, is a funny, a funny way to go out. But this, this radish shit, like, <laughs> like. I don't get it, bro. I don't get. I don't understand how the fandom, bro. I have taught these people, bro. I'm like, I'm like Moses, bro. I've taught the Jews how to watch <laughs> out for fake shit, and they're still falling for it, bro. How do you fall for this shit every year, dog? How do you fall for it? And what blows my mind about that picture? Is that it's obvious that the picture is meant to be like a screen grab, like when you're in the movie theater with your uh -huh. cell phone. Yeah. yeah. The motherfucking, excuse me for cursing, edit nah, this out if you want. The fucking movie ain't even in theaters yet. Oh, well, geek them. Maybe it was the Toei hack. If it was the Toei hack, why isn't it pristine, perfect quality if you got it directly from Toei, you moron? Like, it's so mm -hmm. obviously fake. And then we got into this debate. There's a huge debate going on right now about, like, what if Raditz came back? And you know, Masako X is like known as the biggest Raditz fanboy. He did that R and R series and whatnot. But one of the things that Risu on Twitter pointed out, which I was like, "That's a very good point." Is let's say they do bring Raditz back and they make him a regular character. It's not Raditz. It's going to be a different character. Like it's Raditz, but it's like not him because the Raditz that we knew in Dragon Ball Z served his purpose. His purpose was to come to Earth and reveal to Goku who he is, right. and his purpose was to create that battle where we saw the potential of Gohan, and, and Piccolo was able to kill Goku to lead to Vegeta and Nappa coming. That was why he existed. Adding more character to him makes him a different character. Like I know it's, it's weird ah. to think about, but it's like you're repackaging him, bro. You're going from, yeah. from Cody Rhodes to Stardust, you know? Oh, and then back yeah. to Cody Rhodes again. Like I yeah. wouldn't like that. It Leave him better. dead, bro. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be right because, like, the power scale, too. Like, he's nowhere to be found. So, like, no. And right. it wouldn't make sense for him to just get a power boost out of nowhere so where he's, like, <laughs> on par. Like, that makes zero sense. Yeah. That would so piss debunk. me. That would piss me off, bro. Because when, when I first heard about Broly coming back, like, I knew that they were going to write a whole new story it couldn't be to. the same z broly because he, yeah. he's not part of the main story so they just redid him all together and i like what they did right. i like that so like i said new broly is a different character from z broly if they brought rats back it'd be the same thing yeah you know? i we, 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 we were talking about this too and i i said for the sake of argument similar to uh rizu for the sake of argument i was like dude man if they brought rats back like you could you could argue like oh we like we we saw him dead there but we didn't see what happened to his body after that like we basically made up this whole thing where it's like well what if let's throw the red ribbon army in there what if they were just driving by and they stumbled upon his body and they decided to keep it and they've been experimenting on it for all these years that's such that's a stretch that's you know? the idea that, that 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 guy who made that image is putting out there oh okay so i mean yeah because otherwise i'm just like no bro like that like it would be really weird and out of place and like you said it wouldn't be the raditz that people would expect it wouldn't be like that's goku's brother that's kakarot's older brother that's the son of bardock it would literally be the shell of raditz but it would be something completely different especially if it was being experimented on because right. like brandon said like this thing like this this thing would end up having to be like jump scaled all the way to some higher level just to even roll with these characters because it, back then it took piccolo and goku just to just to survive and goku was it died in that fight like if they like he like you said he served his purpose there's not really there's no i don't feel like there's realistically any room for him with everything that's going on everything that's going on is so much bigger than just you know because i feel like people just like to bring characters back for the sake of fucking bringing them back amen amen bro that's why like when people get mad at, people have gotten mad at me for this one of the worst i hate to say this it's gonna sound fucked up but hear me out mm. When somebody says, hey, Geekdom, I have a theory, I already cringe. Like, I've heard it. <laughs> I have heard this so much throughout the years. Like, I'll tell you one example. Somebody told me, he goes, hey, Geekdom, I have a theory. What? What if inside that tube that Dr. Hito has that we believe the final villain is in, there's actually nothing in there? It's energy. I'm like, bro, this is Dragon Ball. There has to be somebody in there. There has to be a fight. 
This is, are you watching a different show, bro? <laughs> this is not freaking Stargate SG One, bro. This is not Star Trek. This is Dragon Ball. There has to be a fight. And, and like, like, or for example, Goku Black is Goten, or stuff like that, where it's like I, I am now. Some theories are good. I'm not saying they're not. But when you hear something like, what if they bring back? I hear some, bro. I hear some stuff, bro. You know, like, what if they bring back like whoever Raditz? What if it's what if it's Birder? Like you know what I mean? Like 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 what if they took the frog Captain Ginyu and cloned it, and it's a giant uh. frog in there? Like you could come up with anything, but like, can you think for two seconds and think? A does it make sense? B would Toriyama do it, and C would it make money? And I don't think Raditz as the main villain. I feel like a lot of fans would probably be let down by that. I think yeah. Cell is way more popular than Raditz. He's bro. a money maker. People with yo, come on, like. They've, they started off smart with bringing Frieza. Then they gave us, like, in, in, the, in the anime, they literally brought Trunks back. They gave right. us an evil Goku. All this other stuff in between all of that. Setting up the Terminator power. And then after that happened... Female Saiyans. Female, female Saiyans. Broly. Yo, they even... That's what I'm... Yo, they teased Broly before Broly. Come on. They did. Like, they did. They did. You know Kale is like Z. Kale is like Z Broly, and Super Broly is like a new guy. Yes, yes. They was priming us, man. They was getting us ready, just like how before that movie came out. You remember what they what they did in the in the theaters for a limited time? They showed the Bardock film, or not the film, but you know what I'm talking about. And 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 yeah, the, the, the first and the first Broly movie and Fusion Reborn, all within like like months before the film. I'm like, guys. Uh, th th these are signs. Like this confirms that Gogeta is probably going to be in this movie now too. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like that. You know. People no, I like, was one of the guys, bro. I was one of the guys who said I don't know because I thought it was too. It would be too obvious, right? Like if they did it like that. But then we start hearing more and more stuff, right? And then the infamous one was the day that the Xenoverse Two leak came out with Broly and Gogeta, and I remember the minute that came out, I think it was, um, oh, what's his name, bro? Uh, Lloyd, Komodo Lloyd on Twitter, he found it. He hacked the Xenoverse 2 game, the data mining, <laughs> data mining, right? Oh, that's crazy. I texted, I texted a buddy of mine at Bandai, and, and I said, is this true? He goes, oh, that got out. Ah, I was like, <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally how it was, and I'm like, why didn't you tell me? He's like, because I was, I, I was sworn not to, but whatever, it's out now, you know. And then he told me that he saw it on a laptop, like he told me he saw it on someone's. I'm not gonna say no names, but he saw mm. it on someone's laptop at Bandai, and yeah, that. And yeah, I swear to God, this, I swear to God, this is exactly how it went down, bro. Dude, that's crazy. I actually remember the video you made. And you, you had your disclaimers during this time was so fucking funny. I was like, dude, this guy, he's he's busting his own balls just to freaking make sure he's like, he's like, he's like, guys, I just want to make sure you know, if you do not want to be spoiled, get off the video right now. I'm gonna I warn still you do again. that. <laughs> I still do that. I Yo. still do it. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>